What's going on? We're at season two, episode six of Hell of a Boss. Oops. I know it's a Fizzeroli episode, and I'm looking forward to it quite a bit. Let's see what we got. Oops. Probably because I know it's Fizzeroli. Well, it's probably a part of his bit. You know, oops. It went bad. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> you get to work quick. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> you ever watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? This is what it that's what it reminds me of: is the the women getting up before their husbands uh, to get ready. Oh no! Rise and shine, Ozzy. Don't blame me. Blame how fucking fun they are. <laughs> how did you two get to know each other? Of Wait, is this turning into a song? Oh, the uh, the songs in Ozzy's were the best songs in the show. Let's do it. I love the face in the main, I guess I'll call it. No! <laughs> no! Not even funny. What? Maybe I could burn the milk this time. Stop. Oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers! No! It's I like, too early for burgers, you maniac. I like burgers too, but I'm not sure if we mean the same thing. <laughs> you two are impossibly sweet together. Ooh, what, what, what? what? Show it to me! As a perfect example of something being edited different for YouTube versus for TV, never would have been that quick on TV. Royal Scandal Special Shocking New Photos Emerge. King of Oz, a hypocrite. Oh, it's tabloid nonsense, which, to be fair, I'm willing to bet most of. Tongues wagging and hearts breaking today as shocking news, shocking new photos emerge of Asmodeus and Studley Sin of Lust. The Studley Sin of Lust, probably. Engaged in illicit canoodling with long business partner Fizzeroli, ex-performer from the now disbanded All Imp Circus. Well, as the face and body of everyone's favorite Whatever the companion bot is. M Mammon's favored. Seems to have bedazzled our own Ma Asmodeus and his sights set on something or another with the fat wall stage. This feels like a song's coming. Contest rehearsal. Without me, well, you, you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on oh. the mammon thing, so it's the greed ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, you worry too much. You know, I ain't afraid of rope. That's honestly not a bad name for a city. I mean, only after I what? what? Come on, Taz. I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the greed ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Uh, I can handle A bodyguard. Oh, that'd be hysterical and bad. Oh no. You know 
I can't say no to a face that Especially if Stolas recommends the bodyguard at that lunch. Try to stay out of trouble, Fizzy Frog. Oh no. Well, how's it going? Emotional bang sash here. Yeah. Not in love. That was close. Was it? Just come right back when it's over and keep your phone on you, okay? Got it right here. Be right back after. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low key. Nobody will notice me. Everyone noticed me. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I tend to think you and Blitz would probably... If you ever gave it a real chance, be able to hit it off again. Hey! Oh wow! Looky who it is! Oh fuck! You again? Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have yeah, no yeah. Work, you know, without you in it. Uh huh. Sure, Blitzo. The O is silent now, bitch. And she whiz. We've been in each other's relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. <laughs> <laughs> this is already way too much. Oh my. Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. I mean, it seems like he does a lot of a, a lot of legitimate work based on what we saw, but obviously Blitz doesn't know that and even if he did, well, he'd probably gets still say it. Gets you. Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Oh my. <laughs> ah! Oh shit! Come on. You say you're good? I'm a little surprised he has condoms. The best at a royal on the ropes just last week. Sure, but not dead. Well, you're getting involved in this episode, huh? I ain't afraid to go after anyone. Women, kids, and cute little face puppy looking things. Don't matter. Huh. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh no! Value. I'll consider it. One moment. Oh shit! No! What? What? You got them both? Yo! Impressively done. Fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. That might be the mo the coolest thing Striker's done in this show. Larger, you can never be too large. <laughs> you can never be too large. Right. Are people replacing them after single uses? How can you possibly need this many? Granted, as many decor bases as we've seen them used in, maybe that's what it's all for. <laughs> he liked the Willy Wonka of sex. <laughs> <laughs> Stolas! Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, well, Attempting. that's actually what I'm here about. You see, I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him and i'm not sure if it's a mutual thing well i can tell you if you're looking for a love potion you came to the wrong fucking guy yeah right. oh no i don't think that's what he means at all shouldn't be about force it's an art to be earned and enjoyed it's all about that journey to pleasure dude time. you have such a good character design you and uh uh no, no, b i need it i need together in a scene 
has a business he runs. He needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work. I know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally. I was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too. Oh, hmm, stole this. My heart okay. beats for you, but my partner, uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah, hey. Well, that so might hopefully be at least moderately tell, fixed by the end of the episode. Could, but I can. Sorry. Whoa. Schemes? Whoa, what, what, what's this for? Hello, oh, I'm oh, I thought this was something that uh, Stolas was doing. I was like, are you, are you about to like hustle him or something? I was, I was so looking forward to how that was going to work. Hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah. Hates. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, but I can. Sorry. <laughs> Froggy, though. Hold up, hold up. I should read those texts real quick. Did you know the bit of skin on your elbow is called a weenus? L-M-A-O. I did not know that. Shit's wild! I just saw a billboard with a massive banana on it. It made me think of you. Oh, thanks, BB. Got the milk BT dubs. Now I'm gonna show these green ring bitches a real fucking entrance. Get ready for the headlines. Also, the babies say hi. New video message of horror. You don't know me, but you don't need to. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you will give me exactly what I want. And, he's, and Stolas is going to see Blitzo too in the background or whatever. I think it's a recording. You probably just <laughs> asked if I know who I'm dealing with. And oh yes, I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. <laughs> we both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over. Stolas is at least gonna recognize Striker. You have until the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you fucking. Oh. What are you going to do? We saw Stolas having extreme capability that one time he went to the human world as far as immediate danger goes. Uh, I assume he's weaker on a power front than Osmodius. That only makes sense. But the weakest of the sins, it seems like you're fucking around with something you shouldn't, even if you're right about having a good hostage. Chill out, Jester. Oh, oh dear. Stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. <laughs> but not by a bunch of psychos. <laughs> I was gonna say. Am I, okay, okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Both. Yeah, that checks. How is this happening? I was just supposed to grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. Oh, playing that card, huh? Okay, what about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more. Regal lately? <laughs> yeah, well, unlike you, I fuck who I want when I want. I'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole. You could have fooled me the way Princey was cozying up to you at Ozzy's. Come on! He only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress. How do you still think no. that? You can't think that legitimately. Nothing else. Then why were you okay. There? Other very important reasons, of course. Whatever. I don't actually care. I mean, Stolas is just a loud, thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class. Class. It's a novelty to him. Literally just said I don't care. And then he'll call me and try and see how my day was. And he'll pretend to care about me and comment oh. on my photos and laugh at my jokes. Oh, well, that's definitely 
your clue right there that it's all bullshit. I know, <laughs> right? He's just a fake privileged asshole. Sounds like Come on. for being a prince. Because no one, and I mean no one, pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay. Point is, royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us. They're all the fucking same. That's not always true. Okay. <laughs> I guess you're right. It'll be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you. Can we talk about something other than my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole. You do I mean, to be fair. <laughs> a couple of teen skanks. As far as I'm concerned. Dude, I saw your stupid statue in your lair. Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. Wow. You know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal. Don't you dare finish that sentence, clown. Hey, kick for hire. I said watch him, not fuck him. Keep your hands off. <laughs> <up. laughs> <laughs> Can I just sign it already? Like, can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents of this contract. You can't just sign it. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Very well. Hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Jesus Christ, how much do you like Fizzeroli? Attention! Here's the real contract. Oh, this will be fun. I love words. Oh, God. You know, you're really bad at this. Go, Stolers. Last time I checked, I was a fucking jester, not an escape artist. <laughs> I just want to go home. Hmm. You want me to get you out? E e yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you had a knife this whole time. It hasn't really been that long to be <laughs> <laughs> They were also being watched, too, so it didn't matter. So what now, genius? See that remote? I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea. Is this a better idea? What? We doing some Rube Goldberg nonsense? Okay, your propensity for chaos is noted, Blitz, but I still think that it's stretching down was probably the better plan. What? Well, that didn't. Hi. <laughs> that was literally the gumball joke with him. Uh, the amazing. No, no, it was Adventure Time that did the joke with them trying to set up an elaborate Rube Goldberg, but this time it worked. It'll go downstairs and it will it will cook some breakfast and it'll come back up. <laughs> the banana peel. <laughs> and I build robots of me that are better at fighting. <laughs> I'm a performer. I sing. I dance. I promote products that I don't You're good at dodging. Well, good to know you're still a wimpy circus puss. I'd give you a comeback, but that imply I'd give a shit what you think. You always cared what I thought. Oh, after what you did to me. I didn't do anything. It was an accident. An accident? Are you kidding me? What happened? I it out for me because people liked me better. You wanted me gone because you were jealous. Just wanting the spotlight. I looked up to you. Whoa, whoa. You were my best friend. You ruined my life. And then you just left me. I whoa, is that what it was? Holy shit. I was actually wondering earlier with the hat and the horns. I didn't, I didn't think much of it.
of <laughs> though. Like, uh, what was going on? Obviously, you don't want to lose your horns, isn't it? But does it matter beyond like just losing them? Like, does it does it matter? It doesn't make it, it doesn't make it right for for him to get them blown off. But I wonder, like, uh, serious physical malady. <laughs> That's why he's got the robo arms. Trying. There was so much going on. I was trying to get help, Fizz. I just. It was still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, I know I can never make that right. Oh, you oh, 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 I lost in that fire. I mean, it's it's all my fault. I, I'd hate me too. I mean, I do hate. No shit, you do. So why didn't you try eh. to tell me any of this, or come see me? Even once would have been fine. I tried. They were all I had left, Fizz. But they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't. No, and no one told me you came. Oh. <laughs> Good backstory. Okay, so I believe this draft. And further, now that the, the the scenes kind of ended, let's go back to this. all kind of fucked up okay okay i never told them that bullshit you didn't no and no one told me you came okay Okay, so I believe this draft allows for some factory ownership, specifically located in the greed ring, with allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now, let me just reread this. <laughs> Thanks for giving some more time, bro. Yelling won't make me read this. You are so dead. We can work on it. My life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful and challenging, and you know, fuck you still. But <laughs> it's not like <laughs> right? broken, and I now have someone who understands me. And uh, uh, fuck you, my life has actually been pretty great. Yeah, that's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh yeah, it's been fantastic. Because uh, you know, it's a <laughs> come on. The biggest you know, like massive. I mean, imagine like the biggest, just a giant. You're overcompensating <laughs> verbally. Like a big monster. It's big. It's huge. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy, here's a chance. <laughs> He's tried a couple times on this one. Long enough, Blitz. Now I'm gonna break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare to bring up horses. Me. You're still on the horse thing? Yeah. <laughs> Remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. <laughs> they can hear you, I assume. Coming up. A young boy. When I was a young warthog, this, the scars all seem to heal. 
Ooh, his arm is starting to be fucked up. Is working? Okay. This doesn't really work. <laughs> okay. Looks like Bill Cipher. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Krim. I don't know who I'm more annoyed by this working on. At this point, any other exit would have done. Really? Let's see if that contract's already been signed. They can get they can get back in time, right? You know, you're actually pretty good at this action hero bullshit. If you really know how to put on a show, which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at. <laughs> I guess royal jesters first. No, come on! Your fucking shit stained claws off him. <laughs> you think I'm just Man, Striker went went way down in my estimations as a character ever since we saw his lair. Also, Norman Reed is being absent. Okay. Is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! Why is it always a sex thing? T to be fair, y you kidnapped the sex clown. Like, maybe with Blitz I can understand your annoyance, but not with Pizzaroli. You're not gonna leave him behind this time. Yeah, we saw that earlier at Bustin' Up! I can't use the other one, though. Is it, like, all the same system? Now <laughs> with the circus skills. You blew me up again, you fucking prick. That doesn't count. But this time I stuck around. This time I meant to do it. <laughs> Leave before they sign that fucking contract. Up the moment if we made out right now. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to fucking end your life. <sighs> now kill him. There's no reason not to. Kill him. Do it. <laughs> We're in hell. You could have had it signed so long ago. What did he say? And Stolas didn't even know Blitz was in danger at any point in this episode, I don't think. Hmm. Get fucked, little one. <laughs> oh, my 
Wouldn't Krim just be completely screwed? You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. Protection. You know there's eyes around. I know. I don't care. Cause they know if they tell anyone, I'll Well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. You won't have to again. I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. Ooh, are you the one who can sorry, Oh you got you just have a spare, okay. I thought you were gonna okay, repair just, it yourself. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> oh. So, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well, I was stuck with Stolas the whole time, who, by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, I told him no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Nah, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah, why not? Old he time's sake, right? All right then. Anything for you. Maybe I just really fucking love Ozzy and Fizzaroli, but this is my favorite episode since Ozzy's. I don't know about you, but having a violent brush with crime has given me a whole mess. With crime? You mean with the crim? You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well, obviously. <laughs> Fuck yeah! All right. Good backstory for Blitz. Good reveals there. We already we had little bits of hints, hints and pieces there, and we, we they, they set up some new stuff for the future. I loved it. Okay. Pacing wise, I mean, other than how long they were in the cell, this was also one of the stronger episodes of the season. How long they were in the cell, that perhaps they, they, they could have let that breathe a little bit more, but. Yeah, pacing wise, this is a pretty strong episode. It was a long one, too, wasn't it? Yeah! I will say, and look at this enjoyable, though it was nowhere near as strong as any of the songs in Ozzy's. It's not designed to be, it was designed intentionally to be kind of shitty. <laughs> in a fun way, but not, not great character-wise. But it's still the fact of it. Produced, created, and directed by Vivian Madrano. Written by Vivian Madrano. Story by Vivian Madrano, Brandon Rogers, and Adam Nealon. Casting and voice production by Horseless Cowboy. Casting director and executive producer Timothy Cubison. Voice director Richard Horvitz. Producer Austin Snyder. Casting associate Brenda Marie Phillips. Voice production coordinators. Oh, I skipped over. Associate producers was Anastasio. Anastasia Barbado, Sarah Duval, dialogue recorded for Josh Greenfield, Yav Lippman, Matteo Barragon, Simon Guevara Wells, Alex B. Kim, voice production coordinator, sorry, it's a little cluttered, Alex B. Kim, Anthony Bianchinello, Christina Diamantara, Salvador Blahe Montiel, Samuel J. Richardson, I can't speak, Samuel, say, uh, Samuel J. Richardson, I'm gonna drink a little bit of my coffee here. Dialogue editors were Cesar Marenko, Carrie Shack, Kevin Patel, audio QA with Stephanie Kermure, Jake Gaskill. Interns were, Fra interns were Frankie Westmerland, Tatiana Sarkeesian, George Drysdale, Haley Buyan, Kaylee Pine, Bryant A. Loney, Alexis Holt, Yaron Madel, Maeve Schmidt, and Noah Alderette. Starring Brandon Rogers' as Blitz. Starring Alex Brightman as Fizzaroli. 
Starring James Monroe, Eagleheart as Ozzy, Asmodeus. Starring Bryce Pinkham as Stolas. Featuring the voices of Richard Horzit. Uh, Horzitz. Appropriate. Richard Horvitz as Crimson, Edward Bosco as Striker. I like you, Edward Bosco. I do. Not as much, though. Abe Goldfarb as Lawyer. Or Abe Goldfarb. Probably Abe. Additional voices were Abe Goldfarb, Edward Bosco, and Vivian Medrano. Board leads were Zach Gearing, Ariel Somerville, storyboarded by Nicole Rodriguez, Maria Karlamova, revisions by Kevin Slowinski and Hunter Braley. Head of production Tom Murray, animation director Sky Henwood, art director Sam Miller, animation leads Melanie Morozak, Ariane Roy, Phoebe Chi Borman. Character animation lead Ames Heard. And it's always the big screen animators. Retake animators were Alicia Clark. I wonder what retake animation is. That is that different than cleanup? Animators Rosa Sirda, Rosa Serda Sorley, Solomon Calais Lorenzo, Sally Cedarland, Chloe Cherubin, Consta Constanza Constanza P. Lemus, Lemus, Yuma Matwali, Wesley Hellinger, Yijin H. Charlie Linez, Daniel Varela, Brian Salter, Will Wright, Valentina Vega, Tally Lawrence, Keishan Nayar, Sheen Gutierrez, Gutierrez, Sasha Espinosa, Andreas, Andrea Clemente Simal, Anthony Wyatt, Austin Calista, Corbin Bowman, Chloe Perrin, Damien Isaac Levia, Diego Mejia, Dennis Buera, Melvin Untinkio, Jeff King, Jacqueline MacArthur, Jessica St. Amand, Crescent Rhodes, Laurel Bednar, Michael Azar, Matthew Mergurison. Yeah, I got that right. Sam Staler, David Henry, Paris Stakem, Sunny DB, Claudia Sophia Vargas, Sean McAllister, Raina P. Buxton, Ruth Harbison, Rafael Coich Rivera, O Inolino, O Inolino, Olivia Johnson, Lucas Chaboyd, Micah Felix, Lucas Flores, Lindsay Crawford, Katie Nitt, Robin Hannah Joe Sloan, Julia Calle Lorenzo, Teo Yi Hang, Jay McMicken, Camila G. Dedalif, Joey Yela, Logan Niblock, June Kind, Greg McMahon, Andy Ortiz, Angas Sherer Boyd, David Hernandez Alvarado, Patrick Scholar, Cyber Carmen, Cyber Carmen Gomez, Sarah Legway, Bryony, Brioni, Brioni Evans, Anna Mendicote, Anna Mendicote Branyas, Hardik Mancala, Mancala, Hardik Mancala, I'm sorry, Hardik Mancala, Roy Amires, Victor Verde, Graham Van Pesley, Emma Frankie Jansen. Ruth Harbison. Cleanup. Luis Adolfo Martinez Rodriguez, Alba Angles Garcia. Angela Diamata. Angela Diatama. Alma Annabelle Perea. Gerardo Quispe Toledo. Aster Lenhart. Sarah Carmichael. Isabella Penine. Jacob McCaw. Brandon Isla Madrigal. Charlie Murray. Olivia Johnson. Kansu Cantos. Carla Chimberine Amador. Signe Dagmar Schlederman, David Kalev Roy, Diego Mejia Pacheco. Yeah, Diego Mejia, I believe, was in the credits before, but without the Pacheco, it threw me off. Uh, Ellie Powell, maybe a different person, obviously. Elio Lachetti, Emilio Ronhel Garcia, em Emily Echeverria, Isabel Foos Buckley, Gabrielle Edmiston, Gabrielle Edmiston, Haley N. Pike, Connor. M Connor Hellmeyer, Izzy Franceschi, Jacob Doty, Joanna Melchiors, Joel Williams, Joseph Abutin, Julio Marquez P., Kel Klein Sylvester, Kane Daly, Karina Valencia Gonzalez, Kate Lowe, Kevin Martinez Bringus, Bennett Joy Flores, Kimberly Marsing, Kia Carmen, Laura Serrano Morales, Leah Makepeace, cool name, Zelim Calazaya, Luke C. Ger Luke C. Germain, M Marcelo M. Leon Quintana, 
I like your name quite a bit too, just for the the it, it, just for the flow of it. Madeline Sapin, Capen, Madeline Capen, Mauricio Gomez, Max Smythe, Clara Maxwin Hernando, Melanie Ann, Mimi Scapini, Vlada Shianova, Morgan Whitehouse, Nicole Hernandez Perdomo, Savannah Castillo, Helio <laughs> Medina, Wolfie Smith, Anthony Kona, Vlad Eskov, Cleanup Leads with Samantha M. Breeze and Loga, Logan Niblock, Samantha Strenta, Chloe Cherubin. I believe this is just in cleanup. Yeah, okay, it's the same. Sydney Gale, Eric M. Quezada, Perez, Terrence N.G., Olga Vagnonina, Victoria Void, Dubovitskaya, Akira Hernandez, Whitney Walters, Ed Days, Zamira M. Guevara Hernandez, Melanie Rennie Roomba Armistead, Roxanne Ponsalas. Roxana Ponsalas. FX team with Cyber, Jen Ardor, Jose B. Rebeledo, Rebelledo, Marlo White, Mandy Lee, Nehu, Nikos Martinez, Rafael Elizondo Mendia, Silk Caracan Carney, Zamina Sesteda Kelly, Errol Bugas, Eloise Langkamp, Joel Williams, FX lead was Carolina Pias. Background leads was Amanda Hurd, Savannah McKendry. Background team was Anne, Anne Dimitrivia. Dim, Dimtriva. Anne Dimtriva. Arthur Neves, Ashley, Ver, Ashley Wernemont, Ashley Beavers, Aim Sotoyo, Benji Santiago, Bianca Darjuan, Brandon Lay, Charlene Hu, Charlene Sue, Charles Kugler, Chloe Cherubin, Denny Neva. Della Martinez, Duong Nu Yoon, I believe is that that's how Duan Yoon. Elena Lee, Erica Rodriguez, Aaron Overman, Greg Bartlett. I love anyone named Bartlett just for West Wing. Holly Bowie. Jasper Liu, Jasmine Goob. Justina Butkowicz. Justine Gurley. Katie L. Kelsey Claybrook. Kiersey La Kiersey Jong. Laura Arce. Leslie Erka Sivak, Mark Noble, Megan Dillon, Megan, Maggie Vodisek. wonder what that accent is uh, meant to uh, signify over the S. Mimi Schriefers, Nick Reese, Nicole Rensky, Phoebe Milliken, Riley Schmitz, Rita Argels, Sam Case, Celine Einar Guerrero, Sergio Rodriguez, Sergio Rodriguez, Veronica Glitter, <laughs> Glitter, no, Glitteronin, Veronica Glitteronin, Cardenas, Zemina Raya Salmaran, Yi Fu, Yi Li, Zoe Martin Parkinson. Designers were Al Bacon, Benjamin Santiago, Brooke Burnett, Dorothy Tidwell, Hisame Ethan, Ethman, KK Hong, Kelsey Claybrook, Madeline Bliss Ireland, Mathilde. Matilda. Matilda Severity. Megan Dillon. Nicole Serenko. Natara Narungsa. Perla Kambara. Samantha Chitakapa. Shea Beck. Sterling Scarlett Richter. Taylor Hunter. Victor Goncharov. Design leads were Cecilia Kalaskankovs. Donna Zamet and Jane Walker. Viz Dev was Bridget Nicole. Rachel Valero. Hunter Braley, Silent Sound. 3D artist was Nora Xerxes. Additional services by Toon City, Manila X Vancouver. I think that's a new credit for different groups on these. I don't seem to recall. Yeah. CUIB director Alvin Algernon Sartho. This might, I might miss somebody in this. Uh... Senior CUIB checker, Froilin Gervo. CUIB checker, Bobby Coronado. Um, yeah, color stylist, Carla Nillo. Technical director, Thelma Thelmo. Thelmo Thelmo. I love your name. <laughs> Lead color stylist, Mary, Mary Leanne Veloso. Painters, uh, Raquel Evelyn Kayabab. Ramel Gubala. Mitchell Martin Mantilla. Marcel Plaza, Abigail Rivera, Michael John Cisperes, Ressa Marie Takuban. Quality control checker was Dennis Fabros. CUIB artists were Joanna Marie Acacedo. Acacedo. 
Joanna Marie Acayedo, probably. Walter Vega, Marco Antio Antioni. Antonio Briones, Chester John Burgos, Lester Cabilli, Ryan Checa, Mari Marianne Fajardo, Robert Larorita, Teodi Garingaro, Rowena Asip, Bernie John Asip, Angelina Legaspi, Jan Ray Marzen, Cherie Rabaha, Rabaha, Ray Jonathan Ramos, Lutgardo Rhoda, Melvin Telagtag, Erica Erickson Villegas, Ron Miranda, Jamie O'Devilus, Jay Angre, Jocelyn Pedro, Dennis Panda Villa. Villa. Production director was Reggie Umali. Production assistant was Marie Cressetta Moster. Senior production assistant, Joel Sue. I believe I, I did the I did you, Dennis Fabros. Creative asset. Supervisor was Jeffrey Gongon. Production coordinator was Jinky Factor. Composite Jinky Factor. Here's <laughs> Velma in charge. <laughs> Compositing supervisor. Antonio Cardin Cardiente. Compositors were Mark Anthony Camara, Samuel Gonzalez, and Melvin Delos Reyes. Post-production audio services. Yeah, endless oceanic sound and picture. We've seen a bunch. I don't think we've seen the other guys. Sound supervisor and re-recording mixer, George, P George Peters. Sound designer, Rob Hargraves. Sound editor, Kennedy Phillips. Studio manager, Kimberly Bowman. Music by Brian Sadler. Look at this, written by Sam Haft, co-produced by Sam Haft, Silva Hound, Shane Lance. Always nice to see Silva Hound around. Uh, performed by Alex Brightman. Motion graphics by Michael Boggs. Compositing team, Brandon Drias, Julia B. Bevishva. Bevishva. Steve Roberts, Zach Monroe, Fletcher Dale Vecchio. Comp leads was Colton Siemens and Michael Boggs. Production assistants was Josie Nealon, Monica Franco, Joe Stewart, Jacob McCaw. Invoicing was Hillary Locke. Production supervisor was Adam Nealon. Special thanks to Allison Madrano, Anna Madrano, Jose Madrano, Brandon Gricas, and the Patreon supporters. Thank you, everyone, for your patience and support. Spindle horse. I hope everyone has a beautiful day.